Yes, Villagers. Today we're going to be talking about four ways for you to invest in yourself. If you want to find out if your view is represented among the four, you are in the right place. If you're new to this channel, welcome to our village. If you're a returning villager, welcome as well. So, let's get into it. Welcome to Garden of the Mind, where we reduce stress, improve our health and fitness, and improve our financial IQ every episode. Invest in yourself. That's something that we constantly hear when it comes time to improve yourself. But what does that mean exactly? Well, we're going to talk about it. Tip number one, read books, preferably autobiographies or biographies about people's lives who have done what you are looking to do. They say if you want to hide something from somebody, put it in a book. Well, I can certainly tell you that the secrets of a lot of things in life are in books. People disclose exactly how they earn the riches that they've earned, and almost every secret there is to their success is usually put in a book at some point. But most people choose not to read for whatever reason. If you look at some of the great orators of our time and in the past, usually they were avid readers. So why do we not think that we can avoid reading books in terms of us becoming as great as the people who we are looking up to. Have you ever heard the saying, success leaves clues? Well, reading books is exactly where you would go to to find those things. That's where you find out all of the challenges people have had and how they've overcome and the successes that they have used and improved upon in order for them to get where they are going. I had a conversation with one of my neighbors and he was talking to me about a wise woman at his job and he spoke about how all of the workers there marveled at this woman's knowledge and they came to her and they said, how did you get so smart? And her response was, I'm not that smart, I just read a lot of books. Reading books is exactly the place that you would need to go to to transfer knowledge and to invest in yourself. Tip number two. Going to professional developments and seminars gives you an opportunity to hear it straight from the horse's mouth most of the time. Successful people want to provide people with the secret sauce to their success for a price, but they will give you these things. They monetize their experience so that you can also benefit and have the same level of success. Not to mention professional developments and seminars give you an opportunity to meet other people who are going in the same direction that you are going in and on the same path to the destination that you are. So it serves as a great networking tool for you to speak to somebody, find out exactly how far along you are, they are, and have them give you tips as well. Tip number three, get a mentor. So. If you have went to the professional developments, if you have the luxury or the opportunity to speak to some of the people who gave those lectures, then you may be able to see if they would be able to take you on as a mentor. If not, find another mentor. Find someone who has done what you are looking to do and see if they would be willing to teach you. Now we often speak about learning from your mistakes, but you don't have the time to make all of the mistakes and some of them can be very costly and may completely derail you from your goal. So get a mentor, let them be the one to let you know where the landmines are and exactly the pitfalls that you need to avoid in order for you to become successful. Tip number four, learn your craft. If the only schooling that you do is in the actual building of school, then you are completely missing out on opportunity. You are missing out on experiences and going and learning and customizing your knowledge for the goal that you are seeking. Find time to practice your craft, to learn your craft, in order for you to be successful. If you are a musician, then learn music. If you are a dancer, take some dance classes. If you are an entrepreneur, take entrepreneur classes. Just because you have particular talent in an area, don't make the mistake of believing that you don't need to hone this craft and continue to sharpen the edge. Don't make the mistake of believing that you have to have the best equipment in order for you to start. Develop that muscle memory, then buy the equipment that's necessary 
as you make money by the better equipment that is needed for your success. If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you want to know when I post, which is Wednesday, click on that notification bell. You get that ding on your phone and you know that a new video is waiting for you. And remember, thoughts are actions, words have power, and actions have consequences. I'll see you next Wednesday. Take care.